On this edition, I'm going to break down and predict the main event at UFC 148, one of the most highly anticipated rematches in UFC history, Chael Sonnen versus Anderson Silva. These two finally get to square off on the octagon. It's been two years since these two last fought. There's nothing else that needs to be said. There's nothing else that needs to be done. There's nobody else left for these two to fight except each other, and they finally get to do so and settle this thing once and for all. Now, I'm not here to talk about Anderson Silva and fighting with a broken rib in their first fight. I'm not here to talk about Chael Sonnen and TRT. I'm here to talk about the noun who's going to win the Main event at this card this summer at UFC 148. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to break down both fighters. I'm going to do my prediction. So I'm going to start with Anderson Silva. What could not be said about Anderson Silva? He's the number one pound for pound fighter in mixed martial arts. He's one of the best pure strikers in mixed martial arts. He's undefeated in the UFC. The guy defines the term mixed martial arts. He does boxing. He does Muay Thai. He does Taekwondo. He does Judo. He does Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. The possibilities are endless and he has so many weapons at his disposal. He has so many weapons in his arsenal. In regards to his stand-up department, he uses hands he uses knees, he uses elbows, he uses leg kicks. He just has so many weapons at his disposal, and he uses absolutely every single one of them in a fight. Is that he can change levels, he can work the body, he uses combinations. And for a guy who's 38 years old, Anderson Silva still, Silva still possesses ideal speed, good footwork, good head movement. And his ability to switch from orthodox to southpaw, he works his jab very well in regards to his boxing department. And... The guy has the ability to finish the fight in the blink of an eye. He has 18 knockouts on his resume with an impressive knockout power, and it really is. He could finish fights in the blink of an eye. He's a threat at any time of the fight, and it's just a prime example is the Vitor Belfort fight. One second you're up, the next second you're down, and you're knocked out. That's what Anderson Silva can do at any time. In just the blink of an eye, he could finish you, and that's the biggest, the, almost the biggest advantage that Anderson Silva has is that he has the ability to finish fights. That's exactly what Anderson Silva does. Uh, in his clinch game with his Muay Thai background, he has good clinch control. He could throw knees. He could separate with strikes. And he has pretty good takedown defense. He's he's quick and he could pop out of the way and he's slippery. However, it's been exploited and exposed by Chael Sonnen. So that's the big factor is if Anderson Silva can use his movement to get out of the way from Chael Sonnen's takedowns. Uh, and then when it gets down to the ground, Anderson Silva's no slouch on the ground. He's a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. He has a very tricky guard. He's active off his back. He has the long legs. He can lock you in submissions if he's given the opening. And he's going to make you work. He's very active off his back. He throws strikes. He's squirmy. And he's going to try and work you in a submission, get up off his back, or he's going to send strikes up at you. You're never going to be just not working if, if you're on top of Anderson Silva. Prepare for a long night. So... In regards to Anderson Silva, some pros and cons. Anderson Silva is the better pure striker. He has a reach advantage in this fight. He also, in regards to this, that his chin, Anderson Silva has never been knocked out. For a guy who, uh, I don't want to say fancies himself, for a guy who's a stand-up striker and stand-up and like to strike with people, he has never been knocked out before. He has a chin of granite steel. I've never seen the guy get cut before either. And lastly, I think the biggest pro for Anderson Silva is his confidence, this aura that Anderson Silva has, this unbeatable aura. And he has a lot of swagger and confidence in the octagon. That's always a big factor. Some cons for Anderson Silva. He is not the wrestler. He's not a wrestler at all. Uh, and I think in regards to this fight as well is that I, I, I always talk about ring rust. And I think Anderson Silva has not fought since UFC 134. And that was, in la that was last August. And since then, uh, since he's fought Chael Son, he's fought twice. And those two fights have totaled about 11 minutes, obviously because Anderson Silva has been so dominant. However, that being said, that Anderson Silva has not been in the octagon frequently. We know he does train hard. But I'm just saying is that against a fighter like Chael Son, who's going to drag you into deep water and make you work, it could be a factor that Anderson Silva has not been in the octagon and really been, I don't want to say testing himself, but has not been in really wars. His fights have ended very quickly. So I think that is a factor going into this. And lastly, I want to say is that uh, injuries has been a factor. I'm not saying he's been plagued by injuries, but I'm saying the last couple of fights that Anderson Silva has come out and said that he's fought injured. So hopefully we get to see 100% healthy Anderson Silva going into this fight. And where I see Anderson Silva being successful in this fight is that he has to finish this fight. There's no doubt about it. You can't let this fight go to decision because Chael Son's ability to get takedowns and bring fights in decision and outpoint people is his forte. He's very good at doing so. So Anderson Silva needs to, either needs to finish this fight by knockout or win this fight by submission, and it has to be uh, his octagon movement and his footwork and the ability to move in the octagon needs to be at an all-time high. It needs to be exceptional during this fight. So that's where I see Anderson Silva being successful. So Chael Son. Chael Son is the number one middleweight contender in the middleweight division. And people think Chael Son a wrestler, and he's most definitely an outstanding wrestler. But I think his boxing gets overlooked. Is that Chael Son has very good speed in his hands. He has very good footwork. And he comes right after you. He's, his ability, he is almost fearless. He has a no-fear mentality on his feet. He has a no-fear mentality on the ground, which actually ends up uh, biting him in the butt sometimes. But 
He has no fear on his feet. He's going to press forward. He's going to use his chin. He's going to put combinations together, and he's going to find a gap. He's going to set up his, his uh, ground game with his striking. That's exactly what he does. He'll give you a couple of strikes, but then when he commits to the takedown, he's explosive. Just like his hand speed, he's explosive with his takedowns. He's going to shoot for a double or a single. And then if he gets you in the clinch, which is with his Greco-Roman background, his Olympic-level wrestling, you're going to go for a ride. He knows how to slam people in a variety of ways, and he can do it in the blink of an eye. Chael Sonnen is one of the better wrestlers, one of the better guys at getting people down to the ground. And when he gets down to the ground, this is where he shines. This is, this is his comfort zone. And Chael Sonnen isn't there. He can posture up, and he has really good ground and pound, but he's not a guy who's going to knock you out and TKO you on the ground. He can do so, but in regards to this fight, that's not. I do not think that's uh, possible in this fight. But what he does is that he's he's there to drag you in the deep waters. He's there to outwork you. He's going to constantly work, and he's going to beat you up. He's going to out-tough you, and he's going to let you know you've been in a fight. He, he tries to break your will, and he tries to beat you down both mentally and physically, and he's one of the best at doing so. However, Chael Sonnen's Achilles heel has been submissions. He's been submitted eight times in his career. It's really been his Achilles heel. However, he's brought in Vinny Magalhães, who is a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu champion, an ace, absolute stud in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Now, obviously, he's not been training in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu a long time, but I think this could only help Chael Sonnen in regards to uh, fending off Anderson Silva's submissions. I think it's the awareness to the submissions that are going to be coming at him. Is it the biggest factor going into this fight? No, but I think this will definitely help Chael Sonnen out uh, come fight time against Anderson Silva. And some pros and cons for Anderson Silva. Pros is definitely that he is, uh, for Chael Sonnen, uh, some, some of the biggest pros are definitely his wrestling, uh, his explosiveness, uh, he has cardio for days, his ability to uh, come at a, a really high octane pace, and also Chael Sonnen has a good chin as well. He has been TKO'd two times, but one was due to um, cuts and the other one was a corner stoppage, so he's never been knocked out cold. Uh, cons for Chael Son is the fact that he is not the submission expert that Anderson Silva is. He does not have a ground game like uh, Anderson Silva does in the submission department. He's also not a pure striker like Anderson Silva is, and he is at a reach disadvantage in this fight. Where I see Chael Son being successful in this fight, if he's going, to, he's got to give Anderson Silva multiple looks on uh, standing up, but he has to shoot him for the takedown, and he has to work on the ground, and he has to be aware of the submissions because Anderson Silva is most definitely going to be aggressive with those. So I, I don't want to say he can weather the storm because Anderson Silva is a threat at any time of the fight, but he has to fend off the submissions if he's going to be successful in this fight. And he's got to give Anderson Silva some looks, and he's got to roll with Anderson Silva on the ground and watch it when he locks in the hooks. So that's where I see uh, Chelsea on being successful. He's got to bring this fight to decision, or who knows? I mean, training with Vinny Magalhães, he seems very confident confident in Chael Sonnen winning by submission. Is it possible? Yeah, it's slim to none, but it's still possible. Who knows? Chael Sonnen could very well win this fight by submission, but it's slim to none in my honest opinion. Still possible, though. So, where I see this fight panning out, I think, is it going to be a spitting image, an identical image of the first fight? I don't think so. I think that Anderson Silva is definitely going to get his shots in on Chael Sonnen. He's definitely going to rock Chael Sonnen a couple times like he did in the first fight. I think it's going to be a little bit more on the feet. However, I still see Chael Sonnen. It doesn't matter how much Anderson Silva moves in the octagon. Chael Sonnen will get Anderson Silva down to the ground. He will work. He's going to throw down the ground and pound. He might. He could very well attempt a submission attempt. I could see Chael Sonnen doing it in this fight. Will he be successful is the biggest question. But... Where I think it comes down to is I think that both of these fighters have each other's numbers. Both fighters know how to beat each other. Obviously, Anderson Silva knows that Chael, Chael's weakness is submission. He could also knock him out as well. And obviously, Chael Son knows how to beat Anderson Silva. Get him down to the ground, put him out of his comfort zone, wrestle him, uh, beat him down, and try and outwork Anderson Silva. So both guys have each other's numbers, even though Anderson Silva won the first fight. So when it comes down, when all the dust clears... Uh, you know, uh, there's no doubt that Anderson Silva is the favorite going into this fight, and he's most definitely one of the greatest mixed martial artists of all time. But I'm going to ride out the underdog in this one. I'm going to say that Chael Sonnen comes out, and he's going to work his ground and pound. Who, he could very well work in a submission, or he could take this one to decision. And I'm going to take Chael Sonnen winning this fight, and he's going to be crowned the new middleweight champion in the UFC. And obviously Anderson Silva will go down as one of the greatest of all time. Who knows, maybe we could see another fight between these two. So... I'll take Chael Sonnen winning the fight at UFC 148 against Anderson Silva. And that's what I have for this edition. This is Kyle Delaney signing off. I'm out of here.